This is going to be a, just a simple view of Dartmoor down in um, Devon in uh, South West England. So this is just the raw sienna. Clean the brush and then I'm going to go with a bit of ultramarine. Add a bit of Payne's grey to it. Just dip the tips in because the uh, hairs have separated slightly. Just darken that up a bit. Just watching that lighter area down in the centre somewhere, just off centre, just to help create a sense of light. Dip the tips in just to keep those hairs together. Just enough water to keep the hairs together on your brush is what you're looking for basically. Pain's grey. Just darken it up around those corners. Down there. A bit round there. Let's introduce someone else. A bit of a lizard in crimson. There, bit of a lizard, lizard in down the bottom, get up there, text of the tissue, a few white clouds there, a few more up the other side. do with the clouds. Um, but let's just put in a distant land before the paper dries. And then the distant land was sort of somewhere up. It's going to do a raw sienna there just to change it that slightly. Although well, really I shouldn't for the furthest land I should shouldn't really change so much because there's no detail that far away. something like that. Paper stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull it tight before I carry on. Using these clips. Um, bit of lemon yellow. Ultramarine. Next way to go. I've cleaned the brush now, I'm just getting pure lemon yellow. Pure lemon yellow and then darken it slightly. A bit of ultramarine, a bit of raw sienna. I'm going to leave that a bit light. Actually let's clean the brush and let's keep that a bit light. So I'm just going to go a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. Something like that, and then go into the the others. Bring it right the way down. Bit of burnt umber. Back to the yellow. Right. Distant bushes and trees and grasses and whatnot, just scattered about the place. A few more on the lighter area. That's it. I don't want to get too mad with those. Let's give it a quick dry before I carry on. Just going to pull it tight again. Not quite flat. Put a little wall or a fence down here somewhere. That's dry enough. Now down the bottom somewhere. I'm not going to bother cleaning the brush because I'm going. It's going to get a bit dark, darker now. 
Um, I'm going to go for like a sort of stone wall effect, so I'm just going burnt on that, ultramarine. Down here somewhere, we're going to have a little stone wall. So pretty nice and dark. And then if we take our piece of card, just a corner of a plastic card, old credit card or whatever it is you've got, and I'm just going to scrape out, not every piece of stone, but just the odd one, just to give the impression of a stone wall. To it, we've got like a, a gate post, and another one on the other side. And just, inside. just a little gate. Something like so. And then we've got a little fence for the rest of it. And underneath there, actually, there's like a little fence behind there as well. something going across there. Something else in there. I was going to scrape some rocks in, but I've already done too much scraping here. So I'm not going to do any more. Just give that a quick try. Just put some sheep, some sheep somewhere in the uh, landscape, just to bring it to life a little bit. So in my left hand, I'm going to have a clean bit of tissue. Just find a clean bit amongst this uh, kitchen roll. And I'm going to take a number three rigger, clean. Just take the excess off on the what's on the towel. And then if I just find a sort of dark, dark, darkish area, somewhere like that, you can just sort of. Doing a sort of spinning it round, so sort of move almost well, a sort of sheepy, sheepy shape. Take it out of the tissue, just down the brush again, pop another one down there. Bigger, and a bit closer. Just put one more, one more. Um, I 
Some more about there. Go on. Then I'm going to pick up a nice dark mix, burnt umber, ultramarine, almost like black. And then if we just pop these, like a, like a tiny little triangle, just to make it look like their heads. Just eating the grass. Some birds up there, and then finally. Somewhere. So let's see what it looks like with the uh, the main sun. So here's the painting with the main sun. As usual, started with the sky. Try to get it in darker on the sides, just to accentuate the the light down the centre. A few clouds. Um, sort of Payne's grey. Burnt um, 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 Payne's grey ultramarine and then a few tissue dabs just to create these white clouds. Same on the other side. The most distant land put in the same colours as the sky just to help push it right back towards the horizon. Painted this nice and light just to help look as if the light's sort of shining on it, and then a bit of a sort of darker green either side. A few little sheep there, just took out with a rig, a bush, and a tissue, and a little dab for the heads, just eating the grass. Stonewall just put on dark and then scrapes with the uh, card. Use a chisel edge tack then just to put in the rest of the fence, continuing to the other side of the scene. The foreground shadow, I mean, it's not too bad in front of the wall, but I've, it's all wrong here. I should have done the individual fence posts shadows just to make it look more authentic, it would have looked a lot better instead of just blocking it all in like that, it just doesn't look right. But I'll remember that for next time. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Keep practicing. And I'll see you again soon.